Sports Video Group's Jason Dackman. We're at the Sports Graphics Forum in New York City at the Microsoft Conference Center, and I'm with Jordan Shorthouse, Turner Sports Creative Director. Jordan, thanks, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. No problem. Glad to be here. Always a pleasure to see you. So, um, you guys just had one of your biggest events of the year, NBA All-Star. It's always kind of a blast. Uh, it's as much an entertainment show as it is a sporting event. There's a lot of fun, and you guys treat it accordingly. Can you speak to some of the efforts you guys made from a graphics, uh, graphics package point of view and, and some of the things you tried to achieve this year? Absolutely. Um, I think it's our, my favorite tentpole of the event of the year. Um, it's our opportunity to really... Uh, like try to raise the bar and outdo what we did the previous year, and we always change the look based on the city it's in. This year is in LA, um, which, because of the stars, you feel like you have to really, really um, reach for, you know, reach high and, and come up with something really creative and, and big. Um, so this year we uh, we decided to create a package that was um, based off of all of the communities in LA come together to rep represent the city of Los Angeles. We made a parallel to that how NBA players and their unique abilities and uh, in different backgrounds come together to create the NBA. So our package, we tried to reflect that within the package. So we went to LA and shot for um, a few days on a couple different situations. We shot drones uh, and a lot of uh, like handheld footage, uh, also shooting from a car. And then we integrated graphics and post um, and then created this package out of that. The one thing that we did to add a little twist to that was each logo that we built, we designed it in a way to reflect the community that it was in. So if we had a, a logo piece that was in uh, K-Town, it had a K-Town theme to it. Um, if there was a piece that was in the Arts District, it had an Arts art District theme to it. So that really, um, we really got specific and, uh, and we were really trying to tell a story. Yeah. We're hoping that the viewers were able to get that story. Um, unfortunately, with our graphics, the longest element that we designed for is like 15 seconds. <laughs> so obviously, as you've heard me speak, it's really difficult to tell that complete story in such a short amount of time. Right, right. But we have a lot of fun with it, and uh, it's up for, well, we've submitted it for an Emmy. Right. Please vote. Fingers if, crossed. If you're voting, please vote for it. NBA All-Star on TNT. Right. Hopefully we'll win. A big theme at NBA All-Star and a theme at this conference with a panel that we had earlier is, you know, the importance of diversity in the industry, something that we're, we're really seeing more of. Uh, again, it was included in the NBA's uh, coverage and the, the event was based a, a lot around the importance of diversity in the league. Um, for you guys at Turner, uh, you've really been a leader for a lot of this. Uh, how have you tried to uh, really expand diversity on your own staff, preach that to, to other staffs within the sports uh, creative and graphics industry, and, and what are some changes that you're seeing yourself in the industry? That's interesting. Great question. Um, you know, for me, it's very personal. Um, I was hired uh, to be a animation designer when I only had a print design experience or background. And, uh, and so my, my boss at the time taught me or gave me a little nudge about diversity. He, he said that, you know, if you're a great designer, you can design for any medium. So he took a chance on me. He rolled the dice, and I've been there for 20 years. So it worked out. I believe in that concept. Um, whenever I'm looking for a new employee, um, you know, I, I keep that in mind. If I'm working with an agency, I keep that in mind. They don't always have to be... Um, an agency that's familiar with, with a bunch of sports. Maybe they do something else, but they'll bring a fresh new idea to the table, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for something that's been around that other people have played with in the space. I'm looking for a new, fresh idea. Um, and in terms of employees, uh, I hired my first female employee this year. Um, she's from Puerto Rico. Uh, she's very diverse, and, uh, and she's been fantastic. She's not necessarily a huge you know, NBA fan, um, but she's passionate. She's a great designer. Uh, she's energetic, and uh, and she's working out great. So, you know, it, it works out sometimes, and so you should always give it a try. Yeah, it's a movement we're seeing, and, and we're seeing some great work as a result, really, really new ideas and diversity as uh, this next generation comes into the fold. So yeah. thank you so much, Jordan, for joining us again at the Forum. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And Enjoy we'll you. see you next year, I'm sure. Absolutely. Always a pleasure. Thank For you, more coverage of the Sports Graphics Forum in New York City, stay tuned to sportsvideo.org.